Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Shun of All Ages Hollywood Shono here, but to give you another Mortal Kombat mobile video. In this video, we're on our seventh attempt of Fight 200, and honestly, we've got some great results here. So the secret behind this team is using Silver Kung Jin for 30% more crit chance, as none of the bosses actually have gear that reduces crit chance. I think the Cryomancer armor does, or the Ice Gloves. One of the two reduces crit chance. Uh, received and neither one of them have it. Obviously Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero has the unblockable reduction, but freeze does not count towards that. So we have one final attempt before 10 in the morning. We've had some great attempts and this is some awesome results. As long as we don't lose Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero, we can definitely finish this guy off. Fight. You can see the amount of health he has left. It's less than 20%. Let's get in Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero. He needs to not get hit. That's Okay, because we can disable it. So Frostbite at the start of the match means that Infernal Scorpion is going to have a hard time building up. The Frozen Mummy is maxed out, so we are not going to get Frostbite on Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion. Very essential gear item to have against uh, Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero. Let's build up one more spear, get him up to two bars, and let's see if we can chip down about 15% health with Infernal Scorpion. I'm going to throw one more spear. That way we can guarantee at least three spirits. We can't get frozen. Right, still not at two bars. That's the essential piece. Alright, there's two bars. Let's spear and get out. So there is Infernal Scorpion coming in. We are going to get some basic hits and you can see a minute and 15 left. I'm going to throw another spear so yeah, we can get three spears off. That's going to be some nice damage. Can we get a crit or a lethal and really amplify the damage? No, we cannot. 98,000. We're going to finish our combo under because that's some nice damage. And you can see how far he is down. Now, if Mortal Kombat 11 Scorpion were to get wiped out here, we could try to build Kun Jin early. Luckily, he's not going to. Let's throw one more spear. Alright, so at this point... Uh-oh. We're going to lose Scorpion there. There's a bar of power gone because of the Cory Blade. So Cory Blade does power drain, so it looks like we're going to have a failed attempt here. Possibly, possibly not. He's going to throw the special to and we are able to wipe him out. So we were able to finish off Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero on the seventh try, and we bagged him. We had one more attempt. I didn't think we could do it, but we did. So Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero goes down. The question is, which one are we going to get? There is our 15th Quilang's Bracers, totally maxed out. Awesome gear item. We're going to get our third Quilang Scepter, so 0.7 bars of power. Another 5% lethal blow chance. This is why you need to keep going up the tower, because that lethal blow chance is a big deal. Especially if you get it to 75%, because then Mortal Kombat 11... Sub-Zero will always get lethal. I think it's actually around 70%. So if you can get two more Scepters up to Fusion 4, you're going to guarantee it maxes out. And the chance to perform a combo under... I don't know why there's yellow test because it never increases. I wish it did. But I would love to be able to apply Bleed when freezing the opponent. And we're going to get another Cold War Sub-Zero. Damn. That's three Cold War Sub-Zero. Now the good thing about that is... A Fusion 2 Cold War Sub-Zero is somewhat usable because he's going to have three, uh, two promotion. So extra health is going to be a big deal. So the tower is complete again. Once again, Mortal Kombat 11 Sub-Zero is eluding me, which is unfortunate. But we're going on round four of the tower. And let's check out our Cold War Sub-Zero really quick because we have three copies of him now, which is insane. Sub-Zero. So there you can see, uh, I don't even have all of his health and damage, so his stats could go even higher. He's currently at 12.4k damage, 26.1k health, only level 28. So you'd have roughly 45,000 health, probably 50,000 health max up, which is pretty good for a fusion too. Uh, feats of strength, we don't have that much. We have 305 commanders for defense. Uh, 36 fights used in Faction Wars, which I plan to use a lot more because I love using Cold War Sub-Zero. Uh, perform 25 Special 2s, but we have this one we can equip. And for Icons, knocking out Scorpion enemies, we've knocked out 10 so far. 
on 25 matches in battle mode. We're definitely have to grind off battle mode because we're going to want that power generation. And lethal, we've already performed 180. This is an essential one as well. We're going to have to do 2,000 in order to get the best one. But 1,500 special twos in order to actually get the best taught, which we have. And let's check it out. I've killed better warriors. And faction wars, we have to do 750 fights. And busting through. Not as cool as Mortal Kombat 11 Sub Zeros, but yeah, there it is. I like Lin Kuei Respect as well, so either one is good. If you like this video of the final fight of Tower 200 and the Mortal Kombat 11 Sub Zero still eluding me, but we get our third copy of Cold War, please give this video a like rating, comment, subscribe, share this video amongst your friends, and as a favorite, check out my other Mortal Kombat mobile videos playlist. Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, which are all Hollywood Show Notes. My Instagram, which is Hollywood Show Notes God. And can we please get a Mortal Kombat 11 Sub Zero sometime this year? Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, kids. www.youtube.com/slash Hollywood Show Notes. Subscribe, bitches.